Midjourney is one of the world's most popular text-to-image generation programs, but using it can be a little bit tricky. My name is Adullah, you're watching Canada Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can use Midjourney. Using Midjourney can seem a little bit complicated given the fact that you have to use it via Discord and you have to go through all of the commands. So we're going to cover everything. Now, when you're new to Midjourney, you just head over to the website midjourney.com and you'll see two options to join the beta and to sign in. If you haven't used Midjourney before, we recommend that you sign in first so that you can buy a plan. You can use it for free, but it really depends on what the server traffic is like. So when you click the sign in button, a new window will pop up and it will ask you to log in with your Discord account. You can choose an account, you can add an account, or you can create one. Once you've chosen an account, and uh, you'll get access to the Midjourney Discord. Now, if you have taken a subscription, you will see uh, the full Midjourney Discord here. So all of these general channels for image generations, these daily themed uh, generation channels, uh, community forums, prompt uh, helps and things like that. And then you'll see these newbie rooms if you haven't taken a subscription. These newbie rooms is where you can uh, type the slash imagine command, which is used to generate all sorts of images. Uh, this is how you generate images in Midjourney. So uh, you can use it for three times if you're a free user, but uh, depending on how much traffic is on the server, you may or may not get that opportunity. Moving on, uh, if you've subscribed to Midjourney, you'll also have access to the bot in your DMs, and that's where we're going to generate our images. So as you can see, we have the Midjourney bot here. So I'm going to use the slash imagine command to generate our images. So slash imagine. And now we're going to talk about the prompts. So our prompt is going to be a motorbike race where two riders are trying to overtake each other. And you can also include prompts and example images and things like that. So I'm just going to include a, pro, uh, a parameter for uh, the aspect ratio of the image. So it's going to be AR 16 by nine and press enter. The command will be sent to the mid journey bot. And as you can see, it will show me the progress right here. So right now it's waiting to start. And uh, as you can see, it's zero percent generated and we're using the fast generation method because that's what paid users get by default. Now, while the command is generated, let's quickly talk about what other commands you can use. So, of course, there's a slash ask command if you need to ask any questions, the blend command, which will blend to images easily. You get a daily theme, which is sort of a channel update kind of thing. You can check out the docs. You can describe an image using uh, you can describe a prompt using an image. So it will give you four example prompts from an image that you upload. You can switch to fast mode and imagine, as I said, is used for generating an image. You have the prefer option where you can create or manage your own custom commands and things like that. And then you have a prefer suffix variability between all of the image variations that uh, Midjourney produces. So you get four image variations. Then of course, uh, your pro, uh, pro plan subscribers can switch to public or private mode using the public command. Uh, relax mode just works kind of slowly. And then of course you have your settings, you can uh, submit a long prompt and uh, find out how to make it more concise using the shorten command. Uh, the show will uh, generate the image job ID and will give you, so you can, if you have multiple jobs running at the same time, you can use the job ID to query a specific job and find out what it's doing. And then of course your subscription uh, and then you can also tune uh, the style of mid journey according to your prompts. So that's where the tune command comes in handy. And then finally the turbo command, which you will use to switch to the turbo mode, which is even faster uh, generation plan as compared to the fast default mode that you get with the basic plan. Other than that, we also have subscriptions. So let's talk about that for a moment. You get four subscription plans, basic, standard, pro, and mega. Now you can use the images generated by Midjourney in any way, shape or form you like, mostly. But if you are running a company that generates more than a million dollars in gross revenue every year, then you're going to have to use the pro and mega plans. Of course, each plan comes with uh, its own sort of uh, restrictions. So with the basic plan that we've got here, you get 3.3 hours of 
fast GPU time every month. So that is how much you can query the system for a fast image. Uh, you can purchase extra GPU time for $4 an hour. Uh, you can work solo in your DMs. Uh, you get stealth mode, which is private image generation only available for the pro and mega plans. You have maximum concurrent jobs, so you can run three jobs and 10 jobs waiting in the queue with the basic plan. And then, of course, you can rate images to earn extra GPU time. So that will help uh, if you don't want to buy extra time, you can just go on the mid journey discord and keep reviewing images and or rating images and that will give you extra GPU time for free. So now if we switch back to Discord, as you can see, it has generated four images for me. Now you'll notice a few buttons here. What this does is it upscales and creates variations for these four images. So one, two, three, and four. So if I click U1 or U2 or V1 or V2 or any of these buttons, it will create an upscaled version or a variation of that specific image. So let's try this image i like this one a lot so we click on u2 and now it will upscale the second image and as you can see i have the upscaled image here now i have more options so i can create a subtle variation i can create a strong variation i can vary it by region i can make the image square i can zoom out zoom in go uh, generate more to the left right top or bottom i can favorite this or i can get a web link of this image where i can download it in high quality and use it wherever else that i want to use so just to give you an example, let's try zooming out two times and it will generate a new image where it will be zoomed out. So you'll see more of whatever is around the image. As you can see, uh, a new process has started. So it's going on 0% currently. Let's give it a minute. And uh, here you go. As you can see, we have four variations that have zoomed out on what our existing image was. And then from this point onwards, you can once again create variations or upscale a specific image and work with it as and when you like. So let's just give it a couple of seconds more to finish generating this image. We're already at 46%. Um, and uh, yeah, that is basically how you use Midjourney in Discord itself. It works very similarly to how Discord bots work because of course it is a Discord bot and the commands and everything else is actually quite simple to use once you get the hang of it. So we're at 93% waiting for this to finish. Come on. And uh, yeah, here we have our four images and as you can see, we have the same uh, upscaling and variation options. This button just regenerates another set of images. So if you don't like these four, you can hit this to generate more. And if I open it up, you can see the core image is the same, but it has zoomed out and created different variations of images from that. And that is how you use Midjourney. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon, and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we bring for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website, Candidate Technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.